everybody, welcome back to the Farmhouse Kitchen. So now we're over at the stovetop and we're ready to get started cooking down our no mayo sauce. So we're gonna take our olive oil, and I do have the recipe posted, but I generally don't really cook with recipes. So anyway, just a few drizzles of olive oil in the pan there. Turn it on to a medium heat, and we are gonna saute down our onions just for a little while, just to bring out some flavor. And Mason, I'd like you to come over here and watch this. So we're sauteing the onion. And these have been going for about five minutes. So we put some olive oil in the pan and they're getting nice and brown. And now we're gonna get our microplaner out. I shared this in our first video, New Year's Eve. And just gonna keep a tight hold of that garlic. And the handy thing is, you can just do it right over the pan, shred that garlic right in there. We're just doing two cloves in this. We are garlic farmers, but for the children, I tend not to make everything crazy garlicky because then they still like garlic. I help her. <laughs> All right, may stir that up. Then we're going to be adding in our vegetables. So we have carrots of all different colors. If you're able to find multicolored carrots at your farmer's market, then go ahead and use those. We get asked all the time, what are the differences in the carrots? And they all do have a different flavor. I mean, those are going to taste different from the yellow, and then there's the classic orange. But they're all really delicious and sweet tasting. So I love them. We have, so the ratio, no matter what how what scale you're cooking for, is two to one. So two parts carrots, one part beets. So we have eight cups carrots, four cups beets, and then two quarts of water. This is a very, very simple recipe. It's very easy to just kind of get started and then leave and sit. So we're gonna set this down. And it's just gonna cook and boil the roots down for 20 minutes, half an hour. You know, you don't want it boiling like crazy because then you're gonna lose the nice flavor of okay, what's going on with the roots here. But, so you just wanna leave it cooking with the top on. And before we set it, we're just gonna um, add our, our herbs. And so some, I like the Frontier Organic Italian Spice Blend. And I love to just cook with the herbs by crushing them and just releasing whatever little bit of essential oils is still in there. And then right at the end, right before serving, I always add a bit of therapeutic grade essential oil, oregano and thyme, which adds massive flavor, but also lends a bit of therapeutic qualities too. So we're gonna be gentle with this, buddy. We're not gonna stir it really hardcore. It doesn't need a big stirring because the heat is bubbling up. Thank you. We're gonna set this aside. And as far as beets go, when you go to the farmer's market, you might find monsters like this in January because everybody let their beets get as big as possible. So for this recipe, it's two huge beets. Makes four cups. And if you find regular size beets, it's about six. And as far as onion goes, we used about a half of one of these jumbo local onions. Monsters. And so this is going to set to cook. Monsters, and beets, it's basically... Monsters. The next step after this is blending and serving. So it's a very simple recipe. Just have to have a little time and stack in what you're doing. So we're gonna get on to that as soon as it's ready. And I'm just gonna cover this and then we'll get on to the next step when it's ready. We are at the 20 minute mark and our roots have cooked down. They are ready to go, they're nice and tender. It might take you half an hour. Basically it's by texture, it's by taste and feel. So you don't want them complete mush, but you also, don't want them too hard, you know, giving it a hard time. So if you have a handheld blender, you can move on to the pureeing stage. And if you don't have a handheld blender, then you're definitely gonna wanna wait two to four hours until this is really cooled down and you can put it in a blender because it's basically just dangerous. So make no tomato sauce, one of those things that you just make, you know, once a week or whatever, and you're not on a time crunch to get it done if you don't have a handheld blender because it does make it a lot more difficult. So I'm just gonna blend this up. All right. And in a little less than, you know, five minutes, you don't wanna go crazy fast using the blender and getting splatters all over the place, so you wanna be careful. And then look at this, in about less than five minutes, this luscious pot of no tomato sauce is all blended up and ready to go, and so now, the final test, the flavor test. 
Mm. Love the consistency. Really great mouthfeel. Because it does matter. People definitely notice. So another, probably about a teaspoon of salt I'm adding. I'm adding a little bit. This isn't cayenne. This is our homegrown paprika. Adding a little bit of paprika. And then your garlic powder jar is probably a lot smaller. <laughs> but this is a homegrown garlic powder that we made here on the farm. So, of course... It's much bigger than regular sized garlic jars. And just a pinch of black pepper. That's usually what we do. But make this recipe your own and please share with me in the comments below, either on the blog with the recipe or here on the YouTube about what you did to make this recipe even better. I want you to own it. I want you to, you know, use it as a framework and just make it delicious. Let me know how you like it, what you use it in, and what you do with it. And now our biscuits are ready at the same time. We had some good timing going on, so I'm going to have my, my taste testers. Let me know, how are these biscuits, girls? And biscuits are always great, you know, in that old-fashioned style. Serve it in a covered bowl so that they're really nice and everything when everybody gets it. So I'm going to grab the last tray of biscuits out of the oven. Thank you so much for joining us at Farmhouse Kitchen TV. We look forward to seeing you soon and cooking with you and your kids in the kitchen. Peace. Yum.